You know, sometimes you just need a really big saw to get the job done. And other times, you might need something just a little smaller and a little more convenient. Hey, look what I bought. It's the Echo CS2511T chainsaw. And according to the Echo website, this is the lightest gas-powered top-handled chainsaw in North America with the most power in its class. So let's check it out. Well, let's start by doing a quick unboxing. Oh my God, that's adorable. Aww. Let's take a closer look at this. Now you can buy this little Echo saw with a 12 inch bar or a 14 inch bar. I opted for the 12 inch bar because I was trying to go with the idea of being the lightest saw that I have. So I got the 12 inch bar, comes with an Oregon chain, comes with a scrunch and another tool there. Of course, the owner's manual and the uh, cover there as well. Not much to it, so I'm gonna put it together and uh, we'll start this little guy up. Now, from what I understand, this is not a toy, even though it kind of looks like it. Professionals like this saw. In fact, it even comes with a one-year commercial warranty. So that shows the faith that Echo has in this little saw. And it's got some features that professional saws have. Some other consumer saws don't have it. One, for instance, is this captive nut to hold the bar in place. And what that means is if you take the nut off and you're out in the field or out in the woods, you won't lose the nut because it's, well, it's captive. It's held on by a little piece of wire. That is a nice little feature. The other nice feature this saw has is the side adjustment with a standard scrunch type tool that you can adjust the bar with instead of having uh, anything up front that, could, that might be hard to get to or any of those goofy Allen keys that some saws, as we know, have. Some consumer saws. Anyway, that's a nice feature. I like that a lot too. All right, I'm gonna throw this bar and chain on. See how easy that is to do. Look, I can't lose the nut. I should have pre-opened this package. Everything about this saw is just cute. Cute little clutch. But cute doesn't mean weak. These uh, chains are like, they're like puzzles sometimes, aren't they? Sometimes you look at these and you think, that's never gonna get untangled. Is there a trick for this? What? I was never good at puzzles. Come on. Look, there it is. I don't know what I did, but there it is. All right, so. Stick the little chain on, stick the little bar on. Nothing like a new saw, so nice and clean. That's nice. This does not feel cheap or toy-like in any way. Gonna be some jump cuts in this edit, right? That's it. It's got some other nice features here too, like the air filter, for instance. Cover pops off like that. You've got the twist on air filter. You can clean it, you can replace it when you need to. Super easy to take on and off. And there's a spark plug cover down here as well. Pop that open. There's your spark plug in there. It's protected. And that is really it gas and bar oil, and uh, from what I understand, it also has a clutch-driven uh, oiler so that it won't leak all over the place. Right on top, you've got this chain oiler adjustment. Looks like it turns a quarter of a turn. So I'm gonna leave it right in the middle. And there's a little primer bulb right here by the pull cord. Oh, 
Okay, first start ever. I don't know if they run these at all in the factory. Probably not, so this may be the first time this starts at all. It does have a chain brake, so we want to engage that. I've got my shield on just because, uh, you know, these tools can be dangerous, and I don't want it flying apart on me on the first run. So it's got a uh, little choke on the side. Pull that up. It's supposed to have a easy start, too. Take off the choke. Nice. What's the break-in period for a new little saw like that, or any saw for that matter? I really don't know, but I'm just gonna run it a few times like that, let it idle, rev it up and down a few times, then I'll make a few cuts. This thing is awesome. I mean, look at that. I think it comes in at under six pounds, 5.5 something. Feels a little heavier than that, but maybe, maybe a little over six with the bar. At any rate, this thing is gonna be so fun because sometimes I pull out the saw to cut down a you know a small two inch or three inch tree and it's cumbersome my god this could be this could be my favorite new tool or new favorite tool either way I like it just for a fun comparison here I've got the steel MS290 the Husqvarna 455 Rancher the DeWalt battery powered 12 inch chainsaw and of course the new Echo chainsaw that we just tested out. I bought this DeWalt battery operated chainsaw really for Ann. She wanted a chainsaw. I didn't want her to have to mess with the gas engine, pulling it, starting it. This thing is reliable. Obviously it starts every time that the battery's charged up. So this is really handy, but I found that it's not as strong as I would like. You know, it, it does the job, but sometimes it jams and then it has a, I guess a circuit that shuts off and you have to wait just a couple seconds before you start it again. But what I wanted to really see was the weight difference between these. Again, sometimes I need to cut a small tree down and you grab one of these saws and they're just heavy and cumbersome. So they have their place, but they're for bigger work. These little limbing saws or for small trees and brush, these are great. Here's the thing, okay, I can already tell this DeWalt battery operated saw is heavier than this, probably by a pound or so. So if you can handle a gas engine, you know, the little idiosyncrasies of gas engines. Now I have an Echo leaf blower that I've had for probably a decade at this point. Probably the most reliable little two stroke engine I've ever had. It starts all the time. I take care of it and drain it in the winter time. I run only non-ethanol fuel in it, which I do in all my power tools and it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, so I'm pretty impressed with the Echo blower, that's, which made me, gave me a lot of confidence in this Echo chainsaw. Anyway, it's just so light. I mean, it's, I'm not gonna do a weight comparison because I don't have a scale, but I can feel the difference very much so. And this, this electric saw, this is, I guess, considered a top handle saw too, but this is so balanced, really nice. This, it's a little front heavy which is okay, because you, normally you're using two hands. So this way, it's balanced here. So I like this DeWalt saw. We're gonna continue to use it quite a bit. But, I don't know. This just seems fun. So I'm looking forward to cutting something down with it. Um, I guess we could go, you know, cut a small limb down now. I'll warm it up a little bit more and we'll just cut something. All right, let's come back to this little area where we're clearing behind the barn. Here's a cedar tree that I tried to push over with the stump bucket. That didn't work out too well. Probably about uh, two and a half inches at the base. And there's some other small trees there. That's the kind of thing I think this would be really handy for.
I'm in love. So this is the Echo CS 2511T, and I think you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this on the channel. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this myself just because I'd seen it out there and just wanted to give it a try. It's not a cheap saw. When I say it's professional grade, it's also professionally priced, at least as far as I'm concerned. This little saw is like $500, just about $500. That's not, uh, that's not cheap for a little saw. So I'm looking forward to using it some more. Right now there's a bug crumbling on my neck. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.